Hey guys, Recursor here. Uh, second part of the Kidro system. Let's see how to create the door blueprint. So, in our folder, create a new blueprint class actor BP red door. Okay, open it. Add uh, a scene component. Then add a static mesh component. Let's look for. Let's add the frame first. Door frame. Now uh, let's rename frame. Add another com an add another static mesh component. This will be the door. Assemble. Place the door in in position. Turn off. Uh, disable snapping if necessary. It looks good. Let's rename this door. Now let's open the material for the uh, for the door, the element zero, not the glass. Come on, open it and simply change the. The color door parameter. Okay. Uh, set it red. Okay. And save. Now we have our red door. Now add a box component, box collision. Let's call it trigger. Increase its size. Adjust the shape to uh, envelop the, the door. Let's place it back. Okay. Set the trigger collision preset to overlap only pawn. Compile and save. Now only a pawn class can overlap this trigger. A pawn class is uh, an actor that can be controlled by players or uh, AI. Now place it into the level. Looks good. Red key, red door. Let's go back to our BP red door. Even graph. Select the trigger, right click, add event, add an on component begin begin overlap event from other actor who triggered our box collision, regal and cast to first person character or whatever is the name of your character blueprint. So when when the player overlaps the trigger box check if it's our character and now also we have a reference to our character and as for Peston we can drag out from as for Peston character get got 
friend key variable that we created in our character blueprint now we can use this as condition for a branch connect this, the execution flow so a pawn overlaps the trigger of our door let's check if it's our character and let's get a reference check if the variable got red key is true or false if it's true this, mean, this means that we uh, got the key we took the key in the, in the level if false we don't have the key remember that when you overlap the key it sets the variable got red key on your character true so if we have the key fire uh, a logic that we will add later if we don't have our key and the variable is set to false we want to play a sound of uh, a locked door let's imp uh, compile and save first let's import in our uh, in the editor two sounds one for uh, a locked door the other one of uh, unlocking a door uh, you can find those online uh, you can uh, record those by yourself as you wish simply drag those uh, the files in our folder and then create queue from this one and okay door knob door lock by color the name I chose back to our BP red door event graph from false drag out uh, play sound at location select our door in, in my case door knob Q uh, e, uh, this node asks, asks for a location simply and the location is where the door is so let's get the door mesh from this get called location and connect okay a little bit of organization compile save now before testing the the code in the level we need to set the collision for our door select the the door mesh and double click on a static mesh this is the, the static mesh editor as you can see we don't have a collision set for our door so practically in the level we can go through cross <laughs> the door simply go to collision complexity and set use complex complex collision as simple save now let's go in our editor and play don't get the key as you can see mm, locked Let's go back to our BP Red Door event graph and now move this. No, let's see the code from the true output of the branch. We got the key, we have the key, and first we need to create another variable. Call it is door already open 
uh, boolean compile and save default value false we need to check if the door is already open so uh, bring this in let's get them and drag out another branch and connect so if the door is already open nothing we don't do nothing if it's false let's go on with with our code first we set our is door already open vari variable so drag out a set is door already open and this time check check it true compile and save then we play drag out a play sound at a location this time I will select door lock Q and by the way uh, audio playback in the Arial engine is defined with sound cues that we created you use you transform the the audio in uh, in cues to use those with the sound cue editor uh, inside the Arial engine that is a node base editor for the location is always where the door is so grab get world location from the door static mesh and connect so a little recap if we uh, took the key and the door is, uh, is not already open we set the door already open and we play uh, a sound at location this time uh, of the, an unlocking sound now we need to create a timeline right click scroll down add timeline let's call it open open door double click to open create a flow track let's call it length 2 seconds this timer will, will uh, last for 2 seconds now hold shift and click to have 2 points it doesn't matter what we will uh, in manual input values so the first the, fir the values for the first uh, point will be 0 and 0 Select the second. The values for the second point will be two, and the value one. Now, click zoom to fit horizontal and, and vertical to see the whole timeline. And select now. Select the two uh, keys. Hold Control. Right click and auto to the smoother timeline okay also check use the last keyframe compile and save uh, notice we have now the output for our timeline for the for the flow track we created connect from uh, connect to uh, play uh, play from start so from the output of our uh, flow track timeline timeline drag out a lab rotator because we want to rotate our uh, door to open it and the alert node a linear interpolation node uh, interpolates between the value of a and b and this is uh, driven by the alpha uh, we set in the uh, in the in our timeline interpolation from 0 to 1 in 2 seconds 
so it will it uh, it will uh, drive this slurp in uh, the interpolation from the point A to B in two seconds. So for the A point, bring in the door mesh scatter, the door mesh component, and get its get relative oops rotation and connect the B value set yo to 19 to rotate the door of 19 degrees check shortest path now we simply need to make this rotation moven, movement to happen uh, right click set relative rotation door connect it to the update execution flow and the the rating value goes in new rotation okay and I think that's all compile save let's test it play first don't get the key and go check the door mm, still locked now get the key okay we have it unlocked awesome huh okay guys if you enjoyed the video and learned something please share and subscribe stay tuned because more is coming and see ya